Okay, Duke Wheatley here, and uh, we're going to uh, introduce you to the basics of uh, background images in this how-to video. Uh, uh, Graph Pack Collection has uh, quite a few, has about nine background images, but they're so easy to do that uh, I just start them from scratch. There's just nothing to it. So let's go up here and hit Control N for new and you can actually uh, use two or three uh, pixels if you want and have a textured background in the back uh, if you've got it depends on how much text you've got to put in uh, 150 to 200 your browser is going to tile all this in the background anyway so uh, it really doesn't matter what size other than what you want to put inside of it so let's uh, start with 200 by 200 on this one just for uh, illustration and uh, let's start out with our gradient tool and open up the gradient and uh, for this one we're going to use uh, you got cold steel we're going to use looking for I wanted to use aluminum here Let's see where we had it brushed aluminum that's what we're looking for so let's hit brushed aluminum and uh, let's just go we could go diagonally if we'd like we'll just do that for the heck of it here and uh, but we're going to rotate the text so uh, we're going to leave this straight down so all you have to do is hit control Z to undo what you just did and we'll just go straight down with this little puppy and now let's go into our letters and let's uh, I like seabird heavy uh, bold for a lot of stuff and that's what we're going to use for our uh, demo here let's hit that and let's uh, hit uh, 40 we're going to use a uh, size of 40 and let's just click anywhere in here and we're going to put the graph pack and hit return and put uh, collection and you can see up here where it's uh, filled this in uh, we want to center this a little bit better so let's uh, space over graph pack maybe one and we'll hit close now let's go up to our move tool and be sure that we have the active layer radio button activated or you uh, if it get defaults to pick a layer or guide and you'll end up moving the background so anyway we've got the uh, right radio button hit let's go ahead and move this and of course you can always uh, move this with the arrow keys we got it fairly close and we're going to put a drop shadow on this let's move it up a little bit more but, so in order to put the drop shadow on you want to be sure and rotate it first because the drop shadow will not follow the rotated text so uh, let's go up here to uh, image and we're going to go to the layer menu and we want transform and then we go over here and we want arbitrary rotation now it's going to ask us what angle we want and we're going to go for a 45 but we would like it uh, done counterclockwise in which case you have to put the minus sign in first and we'll put 45 degrees and hit rotate and there we have it uh, now we would like a drop shadow on this so let's go up to filters go down to light and shadow go over to 
drop shadow and it's going to ask us, it usually has 8, 8, and 15, and I usually go 10, 10, and 15. Leave the color black or whatever uh, drop shadow you'd like behind it. And uh, let's hit OK and see what we got. And there you go. You got a fairly decent looking uh, background. And let's see what we've got here. We've got... Move this over a little bit. We uh, got a little offset on the rotation here. Let's see if we can fix that. So what we're going to do is activate the background layer. We're going to right click and then we're going to see if we can get this layer to the image size. So let's click on that and there we have it. Uh, now we're going to uh, next open up uh, Composer and show you what this is going to look like when you uh, put it into your backdrop. Okay, we've opened up Composer here and we're in some files here for our uh, graph pack. Uh, let's um, Double click on the, yeah, how about the, uh, index. Double click on that. And you can see that we've got, uh, oh, maybe a pixel or two for the background presently. And we can go into the source view here, or we can leave it in design and go up to uh, format and go to page colors and background and it's going to want us to uh, pick a, a uh, background and we will uh, we want to go Let me pause this video here while we find. Okay, we've got it in current projects, and we've saved it as Graph Pack BG. That's always a, a good little uh, thing to include in your name if it's going to be a background, is BG. And uh, let's open that. And activate it, open it. And then all we have to do is hit OK. And it's going to show up as our background. Uh, now, if we w want to, uh, we could put it in through the source view. Let's uh, go up here and see if we can find it. Uh, it'll usually be right under the body. Here's the head, uh, the end of the head. Here's the start of the body and we'll just slide over here background image and it's in our current project and graph pack bg there it is uh, let's go back to uh, design and uh, there's your background image and you know how to put it in so uh, uh, thanks for watching the video and hope you watch some more thanks a lot